Hi guys, we're back with uh, the delivery of P Bandai and Gundam Base. We actually have a, a huge bunch of merchandise as well. I might unpack that in the end of this video so that the Gundam related stuff is in the beginning and you can skip all the rest if you don't like merchandise. So let's start with the first one. The first one does not look very good, but I, I have been checking. There's no damage on the boxes, and luckily um, we double layered it and it can be pushed uh, somewhat around inside the box so it doesn't get the dents. They're impacted like this, but I can show you. So, we, uh, we have this agent in Japan that does an awesome job double layering all the boxes, putting plastic around it so it's protected against water and so. This is mostly undamaged. More bags. Remember, you give this away for free if you want one. Gundam base bags with Gunpla logo on. Not sure what people would want them for, but hey, some want it. Now the first one was a bit... I didn't investigate it and I was a bit disappointed in that sense that this was actually ordered from Premium Bandai. Now this is the Gundam Sky Zero from Gundam Breaker Battle Oak. And this is, you know, normal kit. I can buy this from the distributors. There's nothing special about it other than I paid a bit extra for this one because I had my agent in Japan buy it for me. And it was actually before I could see it at the distributors for some odd reason. Um, so we got three of these. It's a great looking kit. It's, it's, it's not it. And I will be able to sell it. But these boxes are supposed to be from Japan with stuff that I can't get from distributors. So yeah, that was a bit disappointing. You have to be more aware next time. Yes, but. Then we have uh, a Black Rider. Now this one is an odd looking helmet and the shoulders with these disc like things. I mean it still looks great with the dark theme but special black line. And with uh, Premium Bandai we can only buy three at a time with the new restrictions. So that's what we have. Gundam base is one at a time. So, the Eclipse in clear color. Now that is some serious shelf presence. We got a few of these. Um, not this time, but in total, they were all sold. Now I have a customer that would be happy for this one. The Epion, titanium color, right? Special coating. I have that this one as well myself. It is an awesome looking kit. I love the legs on this kit. It's so well done with the huge wings. This is gonna, gonna look so beautiful. Uh, that was the first box. I'm just gonna take that stuffing away. Next box, I need my knife. I only opened the, uh, the damaged one to make sure as far as I remember. Yeah, these are not open. And since I have like 20 or so of these boxes on the way, I can't remember what's in them. This is as much a surprise for me as it is for you. Barpatos Lupus clear color. Now this one has actually gotten a few dents. Yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. Um, Everything is of course always okay inside, but 
since I cannot give them a replacement. This is just how they're going to go out. Now remember, these are sent by ship uh, from Japan and the boxes are being huddled around probably. We're doing everything we can. I, ca I can even show you how this is packed with plastic and bubble wrap and air cushion bags and everything. We can hardly do anything bit, uh, different unless we sell them in metal containers. The Uraven. Clear. And, and most of these kits are actually sold. That's a Gundam base, only one. The RX 7802. Ah, yeah, of course. I forgot all about that. And now this one is the, the origin from, uh, yeah, the origin. We actually sold a lot of these in the normal version. Uh, here we have it in the clear. RX 7802 again. This one is the Beyond Global version. Uh, which they made uh, according to the, the 40th anniversary and we have the infinite justice in clear now these, these clear colors are just uh, look at these colors different to see because of the lighting maybe but it looks great once they're assembled and they have a different look to it. Some like them, some hate them, some doesn't care. I like them. Now this is a beast. How is this? This is one of the boxes that you have to be very careful with because this is an expensive kit. And the box is good looking. So, oh yeah. uh, I don't know if you can see that as well. It has this shiny glow to it. This is the Master Great Sasabi in uh, special coating. So it looks all candy red, painted from factory. This has always been one of the, the Master Grades. I mostly build Master Grades. I want it to be in the middle of my entire uh, collection. But each time I get one, I sell it instead. So maybe once we can buy more, I can get one myself. The customers are always first. That's how it is. No customers, no business. I don't earn anything by just building all the good stuff myself. So keep that in mind. I'm crying in my sleep each night for you guys. Let's see here. Next part. This is awesome as well because I just had a customer that wrote for me from Finland. I think it was Finland. How's it going with my order? And his order was. The RX 782 3.0 3.0 3.0 3.0 in the uh, Gundam Base limited price, which means it is completely gold color. You can only get, buy this one with points from Gundam Base or off eBay or something from a Japanese who bought or some other dude in some other country where there's a Gundam base where you bought enough so you get points each time and then you can buy this one crossbone Gundam X all now this one is what is this premium bandai no, yeah it's a premium bandai there's, there's more down here Lots of clear stuff on this one. The effects parts. Like to look. No, it's it's not coated, but it has these uh, parts that looks like it has some kind of different finish to it. I'm, I'm not quite sure. You can Google it. Or look at the website. 
can't remember. Crossbone XO. And we have the white rider. Now we have the black rider, which had a funny helmet. Now this one has this crown like thing. Uh, I actually thought this one looked good. It has these huge shields, blast things. I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, White Rider. Should have. And some of them you are not fast enough to get three of each. You only got two crossbones, unless it's in one of the other uh, boxes. Master Grade Dynamis. Quick, clear color. This kit is solid. This is one of my favorites in my own collection, the Gundam Base Limited Freedom version 2.0 in silver coating. The artwork is just as badass as the kit itself. It's, it just looks evil in this uh, silver design. I love the original. This one is a masterpiece. Oh no, we cannot stop. Stack them so high. Uh, one more box to go. Oh, another happy customer that have been asking is for the Death Side Hell. Now this one is also in special coating. I would like this one as myself. All the huge oh, wings here. They look like almost they're coating in piano coating. Paints uh, all shiny. And this one has some serious shelf presence in you know, the original version. So this one is gonna look great. The real grade, double O Quanta, trans and clear. Now these almost looks like candy. We had a, a girl from the group that actually uh, built this and took some awesome pictures in the sunlight. It looks great. I must say, we have it in the Exia Trans Am as well. And the girl that, that built one of these, you know who you are. One of my loyal customers, look what I got for you here. We actually spoke a lot about this one and I couldn't get it. And then all of a sudden it was released. And the first thing I did was to write her to ask if she needed this one. And she bought it instantly. The ball were caught in clear. I think it's mechanical clear. I have the, the Gundam new and mechanical clear and it, it just does something, especially if you paint the inner frame, then you can see it all through. I actually have this one in the original. I painted the inner frame anyway, because I know it's there. Awesome kit, different kit. Uh, you're going to love this no matter what. I don't have it anymore, but we will get some very soon, hopefully. And this is the Double O Quanta Full Saber, also in the Trans Am clear version. Now these just stand out in a collection because they have these colors. Oh, and this is a bad, bad boy. High grade. Let's see if I can. RX 124 Gundam TR6 Hazen Filet 2 Raw. This is an enormous kit and a, an odd looking kit, but it's awesome. It's definitely awesome. And look at the box itself. So this is a master grade size in the in the very, very thick version that matches the, the new DOM, which is a kind of a bulky kit. So this was the last kit of Gundam Base Premium Band Life. But now we have like 20 or 50, I can't remember, inclusive these, I think it was 20, 15 more boxes on the way, which will be between one and uh and two months in between before they arrive 
I'm just going to make some room here. So guys, if you're only into Gundams and that's all you want to look at, you can cut the video here. I'm going to continue a bit with pulling in some of the um, merchandise boxes. We got three. One of them is like this tall. and I think I know why. It's a crazy thing that's inside. So stay put if you want to see. I can start with the big one just for the fun of it. Ow. This box here. This is the longest one I have ever had, to be honest. And I have a feeling I know what's inside this box because no, it's it's not. I can find it out. Well, anyway, it might be here as well, but it wasn't. Look at this. Bad boy. Force FX Elite, the Black Series. Dark Saber. Now, I have a funny story that's actually not that funny. Look how great it looks. You see, this, uh, this merchandise thing that we have going is, uh, is something that we, we put up with uh, margins. How much should we earn? via a feed solution and uh, the more expensive things are the less we should earn because you can't keep earning a certain percentage of things that cost like 30,000 it would be too much so we uh, we needed help to fix that programming coding and the dude that made it for us made an, a lovely error so all of a sudden the uh, a lot of orders came through. I thought that's great, awesome, and uh, it just kept going. And I, I thought something's not right. So what they did was they actually uh, they calculated it wrong. So all the orders that day is with a big loss. And uh, I can't write to customers and say, "Hey guys, we made a mistake. You can't buy it anyway." So I just had to eat the losses of that day and it, it was quite a bit it hurt that's how it is to drive a business these of course was one of them so customer your price was great um take good care of it so yeah we, we actually fixed the problem and uh we took a, a hit but I, I kind of figure out our little solution so that the, the, the guys that fix it are going to do other stuff for us. Um, kind of to cover that loss, if you can say that. So, that's a lot of stuff here. Oh, actually, not a lot in this one. I'm just going to put this away, guys, so we can unpack. And we actually uh, have put some people up for finding us a new warehouse. Now this light is going to go off a couple of times. That's just how it is. You know how it is. Until I move some of the stuff and can get up in the ceiling and remove the sensor, that's just how it is. The things about these is that I'm not quite sure I'm going to open this because Sometimes I know there's just only one product in it, but I'm just going to take a quick peek to see how it's packed inside. If it's in a blister box, then it's fine. Yeah, and sometimes it's, it's in these, so we can't actually see. Kind of see. Some guy named Zero something. Sukuna from Figure Arts. Too bad it's it's packed. I'm gonna let the customer open this one. Of course. That was a boring unboxing. I'm gonna keep going fast here so we don't waste precious time. Harry Potter pop. 
somebody bought a health pot. And these pop figures there are like thousands and thousands of them. What is this? Jurassic World Super Colossus Indominus Rex and Carnotaurus Toro. I'm just gonna take a peek what this is. You see, this is definitely like Christmas for me because holy shit. I'm not gonna open the other one, it's, it's, it's just another big lizard. It's from the Jurassic Park. Sometimes I'm quite, kind of surprised what we can get. And it, it's like it sounds so surprised what you're selling, Jesper. And it is, I can tell you why. We, uh, I'm just gonna grab another one. We started this business uh, with the Gundams. And it's going great, but not so great that we can live all alone. And you know, we had Corona and stuff, and Corona was okay for us, but now we have the crisis. And we can feel that one a lot, actually. And you know why, because a lot of my Loyal customers have not bought from me for a long time, and I know why as well. No hard feelings there, because we are having a tough time too. Uh, but we had to do something about the business. To grow it fast enough, to be able to earn enough money so it was worth our time. This is one of the par, uh, steps that we did to start to sell merchandise. and. Um, Yeah, well, what was I was supposed to say something about the reason I don't know anything everything is because uh, these are all pre-orders and the distributor has like 17,000 items there's no way I can know exactly what everything is so people can order it at my site and I ordered at the distributor and it comes once the the bundle is big enough um, so sometimes it's a big surprise what I actually have in my own web shop. Now I can see each day that all the new products that I'll be loading in, but I, I can't remember it all. Turtles, Mondo Gecko. I'm going to leave this one on dark. Uh, I'm not going to open them. We have the, this is heavy, the Legend of Drizzt. It's a board game. Uh, yeah, up here. We have a lot of... Uh, games as well and puzzles uh, so it's not only Gundam that you can create the curse of Strat revamped I believe this was the same customer bury yourself in gothic horror and it's in this coffin shaped box it's fun stuff we have this is some Harry Potter advent calendar Guys, we have a lot of calendars. Just don't write Yule Kalender in Danish. It, you, it won't pop up. It's at, actually just uh, spell Advent Calendar. And we have them in Marvel, Harry Potter, uh, DC, Star Wars. If you want some fun stuff for Christmas, buy it now already to be sure to get some. Uh, if you know a, a friend or family member or a child that loves these universes as well, we have awesome prices on these. Turtle, Muckman, and Joe Eyeball. Should we try, try to open a turtle? I know some people love the turtles. This is just uh, the outer box. We can do it without really opening the box and we can't see anything. Sorry guys. I tried and I failed. Now, let's go through this because video clip is gonna be long I have a one box more out there of course you can just skip this part I 
for various days to see my enthusiasm and how I'm having fun. Sun Gaku Superhero. I think we opened one of these last week, didn't we? I think we did. The Mummy. Now, what the hell? Michelangelo as the Mummy. That's one fucking motherfucker. Like Arnold would say. In Predator. This one we had last week as well. Bat Cycle. It's actually right here. So. It looks great as well with the ribs and the tailbones. It's part of a spine. Good thing about this is we reuse all the boxes. And so we save a bit here on the environment and of course on our own money. And we resell all this stuff. Goody bag. Bebop. Cop that. This is from the Back to Black series, The Mandalorian. I love The, uh, 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 the Mandalorian. Thought it was great. Nah, Goroku. The Mandalorian Goroku. Sorry, I'm just watching. The Mandalorian Goroku. Should have bought an Expo on for myself. Where are you going to put it, Jesper? Would my wife probably say. <laughs> Ahsoka Tano. I remember this bad girl. Um, Death Metal. Dark Knight. Multiverse Batman. Now this, I'm not quite sure. I, I don't know the series or anything, but Batman plays a guitar. And what is the part that you can collect? I showed you last time. It's, uh, yeah, I suppose it's this Batman. The legs are here. There's the cape and the face with the Wonder Woman version. And the last one is. Robin King, we have the torso of the Batman. Oh, yeah, those of you who didn't see it last time is that each time you buy a figure, you get a part of a, of a second figure that you can pin. The, this is uh, the, the Dark Father, is his name. And uh, I think you need, you need four different figures. You need one for the legs, one from the cape and, and face, one for the arms and one from the torso. Then you have an entire extra figure for free. Here, another mix box. Jurassic World, another box. This is actually the only thing that's in it, so I'm not gonna unpack it. Brachiosaurus, another huge one. So, let's grab the last box. And then we're done for today. These videos are getting quite long and uh, YouTube is taking a long time processing these kits because I don't release them right away because then it's in very poor quality. Normally I wait till it's at least 720 in the resolution. I prefer HDMI but the other one would do and uh, after a day or two it is in 4k as far as i remember another mixed box There's so much stuff in here let's see i'm getting all sweaty here unboxing all this stuff look here another bag of goodies What in the world? Mandarin spawn. Look at those weapons. This is looking great. It's also because it has this entire Asian look over it. The dragons, the swords. Predator 2. What's... Whoa. <laughs> Completely nerdy here. Had to show it to you, not myself. All 
all the weapons and hands and the discs. I actually saw this not so long ago with Danny Glower because it was so long ago I saw it. Not the best one, but it's okay. We have the Robin. And we have more space. Warhammer 40,000. The, what is this one called? Umgarl. Gene Stealer Artist Proof. I think it's, it must be because you should paint it. It looks like this. And grayish. We have another Warhammer here. Necron Flayed one. I know we have a lot of Warhammer fans in the Gundam base, uh, fan base. Whoa, Superman. Gold label collection. I'm not quite sure what that actually means. Um, great looking. Great looking stuff. We got something here. Masters of the Universe. He Man and Skeletor. Kind of different looking than the original ones I played with. Remember, I am from 1976. I'm an old dude. So, G.I. Joe, aka Action Force in Danish. He Man. Not that much Star Wars. I actually thought the figures were, uh, were too limited in the articulation for me to play with at that time. I had Boba Fett and I had his plane and I had Luke Skywalker. Uh, Skywalker and they had the stormtroopers and stuff, but this is just not enough space, guys. This is a battle camp. You can see it. But also a different one than one I had, but more articulation and actually awesome looking. From the Revelation series. I'm gonna wrap this. Now this wrap is not original. It's just to protect. What's this? Oh, there's so much in this box, guys. I hope you uh, you enjoyed. Just remember to comment below if you think this is shit. We're gonna leave it out or make a separate video of it. Or you, that's why I made it in the end. You can just skip it. Apex Bangalore. Now this Apex, Apex Legends, that's a computer game, right? I think it is. I stopped playing computer. I don't have the time anymore. I enjoy it a lot actually, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Shredder. It's something that almost looks like a pajamas play. I remember those cartoons. some Power Ranger stuff. Dino Fury Red Ranger. Yes. More He-Man Revelations. Skeletor. He-Man a bit more realistic than the other ones. Still not like the ones I played with. They actually made some, the Origins I think they're called, that looks a lot like the ones I played with, it's, I think small differences in the coloring, and I do believe that the arm have an extra articulation. I'm not sure why they did that. But... Another battle cap version. This is great. I mean, some guys really have fun with all the designs of these. We have Shriek. I don't know that one. Maybe I'm a complete noob. But I don't know all these different uh, DC. I have so many cartoons at home because I I actually wrote, I wrote as well, but I drew a lot of it. Harry Potter USB, charging cable, house scarf. That's kind of funny. Looks like a scarf. And we have the Revelation bottle opener as he meant sword and shield. 
lot of small funny stuff as well we have in the store now two more boxes and we're done i'm not quite sure what this is Ooh. noble collection noble collection is normally yeah i can't open that one it's completely sealed last box is two pieces masters of the universe battle cat and panthor looks a bit more like the original and this one does also but in my childhood it was flocked you know like with with this hair on so a lot of he-man stuff this time guys this was what i had for now um we have a pallet coming home very soon it's on the way not that much great stuff it was actually uh sale so a lot of it will be restocked uh, not a sale what you say. They're, they're trying to clean up the warehouse so we got a small discount now i'm gonna clean up this mess take a look at this it's awesome walking around in here i'm gonna pack the orders from friday actually tuesday afternoon Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and now Monday. The Gundam base, Premium Bandai, and all these merchandise pre-orders. So I am busy the rest of the day. I hope you enjoy these videos. I might be able to make some other ones uh, with a different content than just unboxing. This is just to show all the fun stuff that we have and, and how fun it is to unpack. Look at me laughing all the time. Uh, that's it for now. I'm going to cut it. The video is long. Take care, guys.